Occupied. Occupied. What? What did you possibly need right now? No. No, 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 no. I'm a little bit busy right now. Do you really have to have a review? Seriously? Right this second? I'm trying to take a sh- Since I don't have much of a choice and have to do a review on something, let's talk about the Sega Genesis. Back in the early 90s, Sega was on top of the world. They were the first company to almost dethrone Nintendo from its reputation of being synonymous with video games. And at the helm was everyone's favorite blue blur, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, it's funny how times change, huh, Sonic? But we all know the story by now. Back in the day, there was nothing like the Sonic games. And they still hold a very special place in my heart because there's a good chance the first video game I ever played was Sonic the Hedgehog. I honestly can't remember. That's how early my experiences with the Sega Genesis start. Oh, but there's one Sonic game from my childhood that I can remember very clearly. And it has caused me much grief throughout my life. And who would have thought that the first truly bad Sonic game came on the system that he originally thrived on? I'm of course talking about Sonic 3D Blast. The game was released in 1996, and it was supposed to be Sonic's farewell to the Genesis. Although it was later released on the Sega Saturn so that that poor system could have a Sonic game on it. It's just too bad that this is the one that it got. It was developed by Traveler's Tales, the same people who'd go on and develop the classic that is Sonic R. Yeah, so we're definitely in good hands here. I'm gonna be playing the Steam version of this game because when I try to record footage on my Sega Genesis, it looks like this. After someone screams Sega! at us, we get the opening cutscene, and it looks, um, great. Well, great for the Genesis anyway, but god damn, it has not aged well at all. After sitting through that, Sonic jumps towards the screen, taking us to the title. I guess all that's left to do is start this bad boy up. The story goes like this. Dr. Robotnik learns about a mysterious species of bird called Flickies. He plans on turning them into robots, because that's sort of his thing, and then force them to find the Chaos Emeralds for him. Sonic decides to visit the Flickies because they had a poker game or some shit, and finds nothing but robots. Robotnik made my friends like this. I must save them. Robotnik must be stopped. <laughs> oh, wow. These controls are bad. Like, super bad. Like, it feels like Sonic had been hanging out with a bottle of Jack Daniels just a bit too long before showing up to this horrible excuse for a game bad. The movement is so delayed that it feels like you're fighting this drunk-ass hedgehog to move at all. It makes every stage feel like the ice level. So Sonic 3D Ass is an isometric platformer. The only 3D is in the sprites Donkey Kong Country style. And they do look pretty good, but it's not really 3D like the PlayStation and N64 were doing at the time. With this style of play comes one of the game's many, many problems. The isometric view plus the terrible controls make it hard to know where you're going. Now add in dodging obstacles and killing enemies and you get a recipe for a game tailored to just pissing you the fuck off. And that brings me to yet another fatal flaw with Sonic 3D Shaft. When you think of Sonic, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Is it speeding through loop-de-loops at breakneck speed? Or is it slowly running around trying to kill all the enemies in the level so you can get a fucking bird to follow you around? If your answer was the latter, then you probably work for Traveler's Tales. In which case, I hate your fucking guts, and if I ever see you, I'm going to murder you as slow as you have to go in this goddamn fucking game! Oh, did I not mention that? Never. Ever. Ever go fast in this game. If you thought it was hard to control this blue fucker while going at a moderate pace, then just try and speed up. You are almost always guaranteed to get hit. And you don't just lose rings when you get hit. You also have to re-pick up any flickies that happen to be following you. And remember that this is drunk as fuck Sonic we're dealing with. So trying to run into these stupid little birds will always look something like this. So the way you actually complete each stage is to take the flickies to this giant ring, and after Sanic does some gymnastics, you're able to enter the next part of the stage. Or if there's a giant X, you go on to the next act. Each zone has three acts, with the third being a boss fight against Robotnik. 
These fights range from arbitrarily easy to extremely fucking unfair. If you were to hold a gun to my head and tell me to point out some good things about this game, I would say the music is really awesome. Honestly, it could stand next to any of the other Genesis Sonic OSTs, and is easily the best part about this game. I also really like the designs for most of the enemies, but all the positives for this game stop right there. Hey look, it's Tails! Got anything to say to me, buddy? Uh, that little bastard just stole all my rings. Now I'm probably going to die. So Tails and Knuckles are hiding around each level, and if you give them enough of your rings, then you'll be transported to a special stage where you get the chance to win a Chaos Emerald. The main problem is the one that I mentioned before. Unlike Sonic 2's special stages, where it does nothing if you don't have enough rings, Knuckles or Tails will just take your rings no matter what, making it much easier for Drunk Sonic to get killed. Oh, so this is gonna be like every other Sonic game, and it's not gonna give you any fucking continues. Yeah, that seems fair, doesn't it? And the special stages themselves are nothing really special. It's similar to Sonic 2, get X amount of rings before reaching the end. It's even in the 3D behind the back perspective like Sonic 2. So basically, just fucking play Sonic 2. Well, we managed to get the Chaos Emerald from Knuckles, now let's get the one from Tails. Damn, I almost had it too. Let's just get some more rings and we'll try it again. Uh, okay. That's all the rings in this part of the stage. I guess we'll just go to the next part and maybe we can get some more there. Is this enough for you now? Really? You have 201 rings for me right now and that's still not enough, you greedy fucking fox? I mean, do you not want me to save the day? Do you not want to give me your Chaos Emerald? Are we not on the same side here, for fuck's sakes? Each stage is also terribly uninspired. You've got your Ancient Ruins level, your Fire level, and even a Snow level. Just in case it wasn't hard enough to control this fucking hedgehog already. Then there's the platforming part of this isometric platformer. The camera angle makes it impossible to know where you're going to land after jumping. You'll end up missing and falling more often than not. And that's not counting the fact that sometimes you'll just fall right through the platform. So after going through all the stock-ass levels, we finally make it to the final stage. And all I have to say is, fuck this stage. Everything wrong with this game is in this zone. Cheap hits, bullshit platforming, and trying to get all the flickies to follow you before you get hit and fucking die. I mean, look at this situation right now. I can't stop jumping, because if I do, I'll get shocked by these pads. But if I'm careless, I'll get shot by this stupid gun. But you can't help to mess up when you're hopping around like Sonic just smoked a whole bunch of crack. <laughs> Gotta go fast! Hey man, maybe you should uh, s slow down on that stuff, man. You know. Hey, don't tell me to slow down. I'm way past cool. <laughs> I mean, why did this need to be a Sonic game? Everything about Sonic 2D Rash is completely counterintuitive to Sonic's design. Why couldn't it be Tails or even fucking Amy's 3D Blast? Or maybe you could come up with a new character and design a game around what you have. Sonic's main selling point is being fast, so you want to get that sense of flow when you're running through a level. You don't want to have to stop and try to rally up a bunch of fucking birds. Finally, we make it to Dr. Robotnik's final weapon, and we get there by going into the giant robot's nose. Ew! It's pretty easy as far as final bosses are concerned. And after he's defeated, Sonic is 3D blasted up into the air with the flickies following behind him. After that, Robotnik shows up with this. That's the ending? Let me guess. I needed to get all the Chaos Emeralds to get the good ending. Well guess what? I'm not doing it, game. You've tormented my life for long enough. Now I'm gonna do something I should have done a long, long time ago. And as always, nobody loves you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little baby. It's time for you to go to sleep and never wake up again.
Well, you made it to the end of the video. I think you know what that means. This is the part of the video where I try to get you to like, comment, and subscribe. Which would be awesome if you did, because it helps me out so much. If you're not really into that kind of thing, or you've already subscribed, then why not check out my last video if you missed it. It's over this game called Volgar the Viking, which is a pretty awesome platformer if I do say so myself. But if Let's Play is more your kind of thing, then I'm doing a Nuzlocke challenge on Pokemon Ruby. And it's... It's something alright. I, I, it's pretty cool. You can check it out and maybe subscribe to that channel. Or you or you could just be a jerk and, you know, just watch the end of the video and not do any of it. I mean, whatever works for you, man. But now this is awkward because I just called you a jerk. And I'm just sort of letting it vamp out. Did you do anything yet? Or are we just still sitting here? We're, ju we're just still sitting here, aren't we? There there's nothing special coming. I mean, I hope you know that. I'm just sitting here. I'm talking into a damn microphone. I, I look like a damn jackass, really. I am a damn jackass. I make YouTube videos and expect people to watch them. Whatever. Just, just do some of those things.